everybody, it's Joy with Joy's Life, and today I need to make a basketball card for my boys because this is their last day of basketball camp, and I wanted them to be able to say thank you to their coach. So I've made this file, and we're just going to open it up, if I can remember the name of it, ah, basketball card. I've gone ahead and created three layers. Um, on layer one, let's see, let me close, let me close those little eyes to close the layers that you're not using if you don't want to see them. So now we're on layer one, and that's just the card part. I actually don't need that part right now, because I'm trying to cut out a piece for my boys to sign. And, hmm, now I'm wondering what I'm even, let's see, oh, there they are. See, that's why you need to turn off those eyes, <laughs> because I couldn't find the layers. Uh, very simple, two circles. I actually need to add one more, so... Let me do that. So I'm going to click one of the circles, and just to make it fast, I'm going to click this button right here, and that will duplicate the circle. And then I'm just going to lay the circles out so that they can cut out on my not 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And now I just need to press the load mat button, and it's loading my mat. Okay, so you can see the gypsies hooked into the back of the expression. And what I need to do now is press the cut button. And then, don't worry, it's not going to cut my gypsy. I'm not ready yet. I still have to go through this and press OK that the blade depth and the pressure are fine. So we'll do that. Now it's going to cut. Now I'll move it. <laughs> so now it's just cutting out the circles. Now the reason I'm cutting out these circles is because um, I want the boys to go ahead and sign this this morning. I don't have the rest of the card ready. So uh, they're going to sign their names and I'm going to finish the card and bring them the finished card this afternoon after basketball camp because it's actually fairly early right now and I'm behind. Okay, so now to ask if we want to unload the mat, we do. We can press unload mat. You can use a stylus, by the way. You don't have to use your finger, but you can, which is the beauty of that. Okay, now we just have some circles. So let me tell you a great thing. Forget using the gypsy for making circles. You don't have to do that. If you want a bunch of circles, go use a basic shape cartridge. Somewhere in there you've got a circle. Just find the shape or item on a cartridge and then press the autofill button. And that will fill your whole sheet of paper with whatever the thing is that you're trying to cut out. I love that function. It's really cool, especially if you have to make a lot of something. <laughs> okay, let's move on to our next part. I have to share this tip with you. I bought this huge um, ream of paper through Amazon.com and it is just like a lot of the nicer cardstock that you'll find. It's 110 pounds, which is important. And it's white. It was as bright of white as I could get doing something like this. Uh, but I love this stuff. And it was only like $10. I have Amazon Prime, so they shipped it to the house for you know no shipping, which was great. So I paid $10 for like 250 sheets of this great cardstock that I just used, and it's thick. So, I mean, that was way better price than I was getting. See how many? A way better price than I was getting from the other places I was buying it. So I'm real happy with this. So I just thought I'd give you that little tip. Did I mention how early it is? Okay, that would explain my morning sound. Well, all right, let's get back to the card. I've almost, <laughs> I'm almost ready to continue. Okay, here you can see all the layers again. So let me shut the little eyes of the ones I'm not using. I'm only using the first layer. And so I made this little card by joining two circles together and welding them. And we're going to print that one out now. Let me get back to the print and I will do that. Okay, I realized that I can only fit one of the cards on this cardstock because I desperately need some 12 by 12 in black and I don't have any or either I'm too lazy to get my huge sheets and cut them down. So. We will just make do with this. I'm gonna have so I'm gonna have to cut three of these cards. Whoops! I tried to unload it from the Cricut. That won't work. You have to unload it with the Gypsy if you're using the Gypsy. Okay. Ta-da! Basketball. Okay. I definitely need to score that so it'll fold nicely. But look, here's the part they're gonna write on. And now we just need to make the basketball for the front. And I'm using the basketball cartridge in my Gypsy. So there is a whole cartridge just for basketball, which I think is great. All right, check this out. We've got three not yet scored basketball cards. And the circles are downstairs being signed by my sons right now. And it's taking them longer to sign it than it's taking me to make this card. So anyway, let's move on. We're gonna do the orange part now. And I bought this from uh, Stampin' Up, but that's not, you don't have to do that. But I, I do have to say, 
you need some orange paper. You know why? Because I find myself using this orange paper during the fall for pumpkins, for leaves, for all kinds of stuff, and then basketball and summer things. And anyway, and orange is so hard to find. So I bought this at Stampin' Up! And it, this one's pumpkin pie. So you don't have to buy it from them if you can find orange paper, but it's hard to find. Okay, and for our last layer, we get to cut out the basketball. This is a pretty nice cartridge, and ignore that one that's, um, what have I got open? Or the first one. Okay, let me make that go away. I shut the little eye. Okay, so we're going to do basketballs. Oh, I'm going to have to move them. They're not going to fit on my 8 by, eight and a half by 11 paper, are they? Hello. All right, so let's do that. Let me move this mat out of the way, and I'll show you how to do it. Okie dokie. Now... Joy must move. Actually, I don't need four of these. I've got to move four of these basketballs out of the way because I don't have room to print four basketballs on my tiny paper. So all we're doing is just dragging these balls up, and I'm actually probably only going to be able to print two at a time. So I'm just going to delete this one. Bye-bye. Click that to delete, and let's see. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to make sure... You don't want your items to cross this dotted line here because that means it won't cut. That's the top of your mat or the side of your mat, depending on what you're looking at. Now I'm holding the bottom button on my Gypsy and dragging across to move it. I want to look and make sure everything is in a good spot. It is, except I can still move that one up a little. No need to waste paper. That's one of the nicest things about the Gypsy. It allows you to move things around so you can position them best on your paper and save money so you're not cutting all over the place. Okay, I think that's close enough for my comfort. And we will press cut. I have to load the paper again so I'll get all that done. Okay, I'm cutting out the two basketballs now. And let me zoom in and try to show you. Isn't that a neat cut? Look at that. I think it looks really cool. This is going to be a pretty simple card. Hopefully it fits as well as I think it does. All right, so now let me unload, and in case I didn't show you, oh, I did show you. Well, I'll show you again. We hit unload. <laughs> it's pretty simple on the gypsy, remember, because sometimes even uh, when I'm doing this, I think I need to hit unload on the Cricut. I try to remind myself when I'm using the gypsy not to worry with the Cricut because everything is controlled by the gypsy. The gypsy controls everything. Okay, look at that. Isn't that awesome? Let's stick that on to the card and see how cool it looks. Look how awesome that is. I love it. Alrighty, I've got my little cuddle bug here and we're going to use the Swiss Dots cuddle bug folder. I just label my cuddle bug folders with a sharpie. I'm going to put the basketball into the Swiss Dots cuddle bug folder. Just like that. And now I'll do, I've got A plate, B plate, whoops, and now I'll put in the folder with the basketball in it and B plate and we're just going to run it through. Whoop. There we go. I want to give a little push. All right. Neat, huh? So let's put that on a card and we'll take a good look at it. Let me put it like that. It's so cute. Do you love it? I'm loving it. Loving it! I'm going to use my ATG gun and we're just going to ATG these little babies down because this uh, that last experience was insane. So I uh, recently bought some more tape for this thing from the Tape Depot, and I really like it. I had not bought from them before. I'd been buying from a seller on eBay, and I like the Tape Depot. They got it here fast. I think the price was pretty good. I bought a ton of it, so it's like I'll never run out. I'm sure I will, but... Wow, now I need to use the Zig. Okay. This little part is going to need the Zig two-way pin. But it stuck to my finger. Let me go find the Zig. I shall return. Why, hello, Zig. Now, let's try to put some zigginess on the back of this thing and get it zigged up so it'll stick down. Ziggy. Zigged. Okay. Good enough. There it is. That's the inside, and there's the outside. So, look how cute. That's awesome. Just a very simple little card, and you could open it like that if you wanted to. There's no reason that it has to open sideways. It can be up and down, but whatever you like. So three basketball cards for the coaches. I hope you all have a great day and come see me again soon at joyslife.com. Bye.